الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله تعالى نحمده ونستعين به ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تبارك وتعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله تبارك وتعالى فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وأحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار نسأل الله العزيز المختار أن يجيرنا وإياكم من عذاب النار. ما زلنا في شرح أسماء الله الحسنى. We're still in the series of explanation of the names and attributes of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. Still with the name Al-Fattah. And so as you notice, the name Al-Fattah, it's very hard to bring one word to translate uh, the name Al-Fattah. If you remember, I told you Al-Fattah means that this attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the fact that He judges between the people. That's one kind of Fattah. That He subhanahu wa ta'ala gives victory to a people over a people. That's another kind of Fattah. And we talked about the fact that He subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, opens and closes. And in this case, in the hereafter, He opens the doors to the gates of the Jannah for the believers and he closes it in the face of the other ones. And we talked about the Fatih when it comes to the life of this world and especially the prophets and the messengers asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the Fatih between them and their people. And we gave the example of Nuh alayhi salam after 950 years of giving da'wah to his people only a few, only a fraction of them believed and followed him and then subhanAllah at the end of the day he asked for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for fatah between him and those people and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved him in the ark along with the believers and the species of the animals and he subhanahu wa ta'ala called the rest of them i.e. the disbelievers to drown Zahullah khair فَهَذَا كَانَ فَتْحُ اللَّهِ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَ بَيْنَا نُوحٍ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ we see another example, inshaAllah ta'ala, and that's the example of Shu'ayb alayhi salam. Wa Shu'ayb hum kana yukanna madhu? Ma yukuniyatu Shu'ayb? Kana yukanna khatib al-anbiya. Shu'ayb kana khatib al-anbiya. Shu'ayb was, subhanAllah, the most eloquent in his speech. So he was, he was given this nickname, the, the, the speaker of the Anbiya. Well, Shu'ayb كَانَ مِنَ الْأَنْبِيَاءِ الْعَرَبِ Shu'ayb used to be from the few prophets that, that were Arabs. And how many prophets are, are Arabs? How many of the prophets that were Arabs? Thanks, uh, huh? 5, 15, 25, 30, how many? 3. Huh? 3. three? The number is between his number and your number. Four. <laughs> there you go, the math people, the math people in front of MashaAllah, that's what I am. Allah Ta'ala, you still have more of a mehfala. It was the king of the hadith, Hadith Abi Dharaf, radiallahu anhu. Qala, qultu ya Rasulullah, kam adadu, kam in anbiya, O Prophet of Allah, many are the prophets. Qala, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mi'atu alfi, wa arba'atan, or 124,000, the Prophet asked them, replied, قُلْتُ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ كَنُوا الرُّسُولُ مِنْهُمْ How many are actually messengers? قَالَ ثَلَاثَ مِئَةُ وَثَلَاثَ وَعِشْرِينَ ثَلَاثَ مِئَةَ ثَلَاثَ عَشَرَ جَمَّنْ غَفِيرًا كَمَا قَالَ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ They said that's a group, it's a plentiful group of 330. So that the narration vary between 313 and 314 as far as the messengers as opposed to the prophets. And we know the difference, right? What's the difference between the prophets and the messengers? 
تفسير زي الرسالة That's one of them. So the prophet, the messengers, to start with, are a higher status than the prophets. The messengers, they always receive new revelation, new scripture from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Whereas prophets, they come as followers to the messengers that came before them. They are, as the brother said, they are prophets. They are actually literally prophets, but they were not sent to any people. They were not asked to deliver any message to anybody, but they were actually prophets. So there are prophets that deliver a message that is always following the message of a messenger that came before them. And subhanAllah, the, the messengers are you know, more specialized here because they're always sent to tough situations where you'll find that the uh, shit becomes rampant. People uh, have gotten away from the tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like for example, we mentioned Nuh, he was he's the first messenger. Uh, Allah Ta'ala sent him where people actually got away completely from the worship of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. Uh, and they, they were idol worshippers 100%. فما قال أبو غر رضي الله عنه يا رسول الله يا رسول الله من كان أولهم من كان أول الأنبياء And I asked you the same question, who was the first prophet? Nuh? Nuh? Adam. Adam a.s. was the first prophet. قال يا رسول الله نبيا موسى كان نبيا موسى قال صلى الله عليه وسلم نعم خلقه الله بيده ونفخ فيه من روحه ثم سواه قبلا. So the prophet of the Abu Dhar said he was their prophet that was sent to his people. He didn't mean موسى يعني رسول but he was their prophet that was sent to the people. He said yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created, created him with his own hands and he blew his soul in him and he made him into a perfect human being, subhanAllah. This is an addition in this riwaya. The Prophet Sassim goes on to say, Ya Abadun, Arba'atu Siriyaniyun, Adam, Washid, وَنُوحْ وَخَنُوحْ Four of them were Syriac and they spoke a Syrianian, Syriac. And this is one of the... Which, which, language, which group of languages is, is Syriac? It's a, a Semitic languages. Hebrew, Arabic, and Syriac, all these are Semitic languages. So, he said four of them were Syriac, they spoke Syriac. Adam a.s. which means Syriac was the first language spoken on the earth. وَنُوحْ Spoke Syriac as, as well. She, she, who's she? Uh, the son of Eve. The son that was born to Adam and Eve after? After. Qabil killed Habi. And she in Syriac means the gift from Allah. Hibatullah. Huh? Meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent she, he's called Seth in, in English, <coughs> to, to appease the pain of Adam and Eve. It was said that they cried. They were sad for the loss of their son for over 40 years. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent them sheep alayhi salam to appease their pain for, for their loss. So sheep, then Nuh alayhi salam, and Khanuk. Who's Khanuk? I said it yesterday. Who's Khanuk? Instead of talking to him, talk to him. <laughs> Tell me who's Khanuk. Idris alayhi salam. SubhanAllah. قال إدري خنوخ وهو أول وهو أول من خطى بالقلم is the first one to write with the pen ثم قال صلى الله عليه وسلم أربعة من العرب هود وصالح وشعيب ونبي ونبيك يا أبا ذر he said four were from the Arabs they were Hud and صالح and شعيب and your prophet هو أبو ذر and who does not keep me awake anymore, alhamdulillah, he's, he's gotten into the program. <laughs> I'm talking about my hood. The one I have from, <laughs> from the Arabs. So, subhanAllah, these are the four prophets that, were, that spoke uh, Arabic. Now someone could ask, what about Ismail? That's a good one. What about Ismail? Did he spoke Arabic? What about him? He is not considered uh, from the Arabs. His descendants are from the Arabs, but he is actually 
Uh, he is subhanAllah intisimu ila abi. SubhanAllah, he's from the lineage of his father and they were not Arabs. Uh, SubhanAllah, he became وَهُوَ كَانَ أَوَّلُ الْأَوَّلَ الْعَرَبِ الْمُسْتَعْرِبَ كَمَا تَعْلَمُونَ الْعَرَبِ كَمْ كَمْ أَنْوَعَ أَنْوَعَ الْعَرَبِ ثلاثة الْعَرَبُ الْبَائِدَ وَمِنْهُمْ قَوْمُ هُدْ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ الْعَرَبُ الْبَائِدَ The ones that disappeared, the Arabs that disappeared And by the way, subhanAllah, Hud is a يعني it's a second or third generation from Nuh عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ so uh, from about the, the first tribe that emerged with a prophet from the lineage of Nuh was an Arab tribe that lived in the Arabic Peninsula and spoke the Arabic language. Those were Al Arabu Ba'ida, the Arabs that dis disappeared. And then you have Al Arabu Al Ariba, whom Al Yemen, the people of Yemen, that actually all of them resided in Yemen until Sid to I don't like to use that word. Is another word for Sid? Besides that word that resembles a bad word, huh? ah. like the Hoover Dam, you mean the D, the Madrid D, Dam, the D, the D word. So yeah, so that 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 said uh, that of Madrid, and Subhanallah, yani, if you read Surah Seba, and it talks about all the khayrat, all the, the lush, and all the, the 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 greenery that they had, and all the animals they had, that's people of of of, of Seba. That's where they lived. They lived in Al Yemen, and because of that, of, of Mahrib, they had all the water they needed. They, oh, every one of them had water come, uh, like uh, little uh, small rivers of water coming to, or bodies of water coming all the way to their homes, to their farms. So, subhanAllah, so much so that a traveler was allowed to eat wherever he wants. You keep traveling, you go from farm to farm, wherever you see fruits that you desire, just pick and eat. Nobody's going to tell you anything, subhanAllah, because they had, they lived in plenty. But when they did not thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly for what they had, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed uh, Ma'rib, and all of a sudden they found themselves poor and destitute. They, they became nomadic tribes, and they, they, were, they started traveling everywhere. That's how the, the, the uh, tribe of Johor were able to find uh, uh, Ahaja and Ismail alayhi salam when Ibrahim السلام, put them in put them in, uh, in Mecca and it was it was no Mecca, there was nothing, it was a it was a desert subhanAllah. So uh, then so Ismail is so these people were these tribes were Al Arabu Al Ariba, the second category of the Arabs, and then you have Ismail, the descendants of Ismail whom al Arabi Mustariba. This is the third category of the Arabs. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who wanted Al Arabi Al Mustariba. SubhanAllah. His lineage does not come from the Arabs, but he he became uh, uh, from the Arabs by language and geography. Uh, by because of the location and the language subhanAllah. So Shaykh uh, Khatib going back to Shuaib alayhi salam. And uh, by the way, I will stop in the middle of the story abruptly when I hear the event. But Shuaib alayhi salam, he stood to speak to his people. Huh? He, he السلام, was opposed to certain things that they were doing. What a double standard, right? Yeah, it's, it's hard to believe, and I'll translate in a second, it's hard to believe that there are people that are actually think that way, that think it's, it's actually doable. Huh? What about the What about the mutaffifi? And what would, do you understand this word from the meaning that I'll, I'll explain? Alladina idaktaru alamnas. And when people, uh, uh, subhanAllah, measure for them, or wait for them any kind of food or anything that they want to buy, Yes, tofun. Huh? Subhanallah. They want, they want to add more. Oh, this is, you want 10 pounds? Or less than 10 pounds. Okay, okay. Put these. It's okay, it's okay. They want to take more than, than they, they paid for, subhanallah. But when it's done, But when it's done, you want 10 pounds? But that's nine and a half. Just take it. Nine and a half is good. Or they will put something. And we have, this happens. We have this back home, right? 
this uh, the, the they have the scale and the the, uh, the 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 weight that they use they they, they chip some from it they, they change it and say it's supposed to be ten pounds but it's actually eight and a half so how yeah any mean, Allah Taala says woe unto these people subhanallah so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns in the strongest language, these people that do this. So the people of Shu'ayb, that's what they did. Huh? At Tatfif. And at Tatfif, subhanAllah covers everything. You cheat in any kind of thing. Anything. If we're not talking just about buying and selling, at Tatfif covers everything. Yeah, I mean, any kind of transaction. Any kind of behavior, uh, all of that. If a person cheats, that's that's a part of a tafsir. What if said of them? They spread mischief in the earth. I mean, it's how long mischief is a wide meaning. Uh, anything that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala made forbidden, they did. And on top of it, huh, they used to to rob people, to get in the way. What is, a, what is a good way to describe that? SubhanAllah. The, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a particular, particular huh? There's a particular, uh, uh, huh? Obstructing, but not SubhanAllah. They actually, yeah, like road, road. Uh, there's another, yeah, they're bandits, they uh, hijack it, but there's another term that I'm looking for. Used to, that was used when people had, you know, caravans or carriages being, uh, being attacked. But basically, they'll attack people in the middle of roads, and then they'll uh, take all their belongings. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. I think we're going to stop and let the sisters do the, the lecture for us. Mashallah, we hear them louder, loud and clear. Mashallah. Allah To Madian, their brother, Shuaib. قال يا قوم اعبدوا الله ما لكم من اله غيره يا الله دعوه الانبياء ما هي التوحيد اول ما يذكر الانبياء ويدعو الى الانبياء قومه هو التوحيد the first thing that the prophet and the messenger will call uh, will call to is التوحيد and this is something that all of us should should learn someone comes to talk, talk to you about islam and he will tell you you know any kind of subject uh, he wants to talk to you about the fact that you know Islam and terrorism and violence. And don't talk about that. One thing, the, sh the first thing you should talk about. Ya al kitabi ta'ala ila kalimatin sawa'in bainana wa bainana. Shnu ma hiya kalima? Allah na'abuda illa Allah. Wala nushrika bihi shayi. Allah Ta'ala says it. Wallahi uh, yani, the, the, the scholars tell you that subhanahu wa people that do da'wah and, and to to non-Muslims, especially the people of the book, we sometimes we miss the point. Because this is what Allah Ta'ala is talking us to do. Don't talk about anything else besides the Tawheed. Huh? That's, that's the main subject. If, if there's no agreement on, on Tawheed, well then, then the rest of it is, is a waste of time. Allah Ta'ala says it clearly. O oh, people of the book, let's come together huh, on a kalima, kalima sawa. Huh? We agree on one word. What is that word? That we should worship none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't take any partners with him subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Shuhayb did the same thing. He started with a tawheed. Clear proof came to you from your Lord. Subhanallah. Be fair and just when it comes to the scale. Don't deprive people of their stuff. Huh? Do, and 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 subhanAllah is, is, it's a, a broad meaning. Not only uh, depriving people of their stuff or taking people their the, the, their wealth from the people, but also someone brings you a thing and you know that it's worth well, let's say a thousand dollars, for example. He said, no, 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 he has this chip here, and, it's the, and, this, and the software has this and that, I'll give you $80. You, somebody brings you something, and you try to bring any kind, every kind of defect that you can make up in order to 
to make this, this thing that you're about to buy worthless in the eyes of the person that, that is selling it so that you can take it from uh, of, of his hand um, with the least possible price. <laughs> SubhanAllah. But don't say that. There might be some brothers here. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> SubhanAllah. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't want to go, go past the, uh, the time of, uh, of uh, Adhan. But inshallah ta'ala, we'll, we'll continue this idea tomorrow. In the name ta'ala. Let's have Allah ta'ala ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you nothing the ones that are fair and just in everything that they do. And then subhanAllah do everything. The way that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I call the Holy Hada, wa astaghfirullah wa lakum subhanahu wa ta'ala wa hamdik, wa la ilaha 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 ilaha